Hello everybody, it's Rhino here, and I am in sunny, beautiful California. And today I'm at Disney California Adventure Park, and guess what? We're gonna do some shopping. I know, we love our shopping videos, we love our shopping experiences, and honestly, I haven't really gotten to work my way through any of the stores out here yet, too much other than the Avengers stuff. Um, so, let's do a thing. I think what we're gonna do is Buena Vista Street. So we'll do all the right side and then come back up to all the left side and meet back here. So uh, we're gonna dive right in, just go one by one. I apologize, I don't know the names of all the shops here, so I will try to figure it out before I go in, uh, but I might say it wrong, so so I am, I am really, really sorry. I do my best, I am doing my best, but I just wanna show you some cool merch and all that sort of stuff, so, cause we're at Disneyland, and everything is better at Disneyland. So, before we get started with this though, I wanna remind everybody that uh, this video and everything that we do is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. You can visit them on the web at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel so thank you everybody now let's get started mm -mm 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 -mm, shopping i'm not gonna i might actually buy something today so we'll see Meh. yeah we'll see maybe maybe okay like i said you can see there's the uh los Feliz five and dime but uh this is beautiful buena vista street uh the monorail used to would run through there but the monorail is not running right now i i don't believe i haven't seen it at all so i'm assuming it's not at the, the time of recording this so regardless this is a video about shopping so let's start over here on the right and um this first one we're gonna go in doesn't have a ton of merchandise because it originally was a um like the area where you go to look at your photos and everything like that i don't know what that's called <laughs> Ah, yeah, it is hot out and my brain is not working. So we're going into the Elysian Arcade over here, which connects to other stores. So as you can see, this is where you find some annual pass holder stuff, which I am technically still an annual pass holder till the end of July. And then that's when it goes, oh, look at that. Oh, not even 11 Pro though, so. I don't know if that's an AP exclusive or it's just in here. Can I get this typewriter? Some pins. Oh my God, this air conditioning feels so good. All right. There we go, I like this. I love good algae bottles, is that what these were called? $15, it's actually less than I thought it was gonna be. If Mickey Mouse wasn't for you, they've got a Minnie Mouse one as well. This is very, like, boat town to me is what it says. The stripes and everything. So we've got all our Beauty and the Beast stuff that we always see everywhere. You know how I feel about these. I love a good succulent planter. Uh, oh, look. You can buy a stroller. A Mickey Mouse stroller. I'm sure you can buy these other places. I've just never seen them for sale before. I want a Minnie Mouse one for $40. I thought shoulders would be way more than that. Let's take a look at this throw. Is this part of the Jared Murayama? I don't know. It's got that same look to it, but this is really cute. Cause this is like Radiator Springs, Disneyland. There's the Grizzly River. Rapids, Grizzly Peak, whatever. The power out, hmm, $140. I thought this would have been $60. Hmm, hmm, I don't need a blanket. We got some pet stuff over here. Look at this, I don't think I've seen this one before. Full of spirit, $24.99. Just too hot, too hot for the babies to be wearing that sort of stuff. So a lot of stuff we've seen before, a lot of stuff, towels and everything. We got some ornaments up in here. Umbrellas that I feel like you never need in California because I don't believe it rains here. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna see if there's any cute like Disneyland ornaments. Oh, the graduation one is fun. It's $20. We love, we love Emperor's New Groove, don't we? $24.99. Uh, 
These ones are fun too. Nah. This is the Tower of Terror one. That is $30. Good God, ornaments are expensive. We got a whole villain setup going here. This is fun. Look at because you get the deadly nightshade, the frog's breath, and the worm's wart. Those are the things that make the sleepy, sleepy potion. How much is this? Only 30 bucks. That's really cute. Hmm. I really like that. What's this? Oh, that is fun. Burn your rest at the haunted mansion. Look, and you get the, the shovel is the stir. That is cool. That is 20 bucks. And we've got an Ursula. Ursula, big witch. $40. Ring holder, I'm assuming. 20. Hot to mansion. So I've never seen this before. It's like a jungle cruise, right? Cookie jar. I don't think I like it. I'm sure some people do, but it's like not. I feel like the colors aren't quite right. I don't know. I'm being nitpicky, but it is $60. And I was praying I wasn't going to drop it. Look at this. The amazing, the colossal, the stupendous, the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water. That is, that's fun. That's $20. And the Disneyland cookie jar, which because of the coloring and the way they made the top makes it look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that is also $55. I don't care for that. Oh, this is neat. Look at this, right? It's Main Street. Not for food. food. Oh my god. Not for food use. Made poison food. That is hilarious. I don't even know what this is. The spoons? No, because it just said it'll poison you. $18. Look at this. A sponge. For $7. You can clean with the castle. Like Cinderella. Although that's Sleeping Beauty Castle. So I feel like the Cinderella one would be more appropriate. Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day in Cinderella. So you've also got some pins in here. You got your mugs. Here's the Jared Mariama set of stuff. Got the water bottle with the interchangeable tops, which I think is such a clever cute idea because they can keep selling the tops so that's 30 bucks and you get four different tops because you got the mickey ears orange bird cupcake and dumba dumba we have seen this merch in another video before but i'll just you know just go over it really quick because i don't want comments later where they're like why didn't you show all this 30 bucks I met Jared a couple times and he is just the nicest guy. So I am so happy to see his art like in the parks like this, you know. Oh, and they got the plates all on display. Nice. So the shops on this right side of the street go up into another like a bakery over here. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. And then uh, the, the Fiddler Pfeiffer Practical Cafe, which is really the Starbucks over there. That you can also get mm, ice cream. So you can get all the Sundays in Mickey's pants. But I also see on the counter there's sinks, a mini sink and a Mickey sink. Let's just take a look at the Starbucks mug here. Avengers Campus. Little spiders everywhere. This is $24.99. Yeah. And then uh, they got a tote down here for $30. And I feel like there's a mug usually, isn't there? And they got little ornament versions of it. These are $14.99 each. Cute, 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 cute. I don't see the mugs. Maybe they're over there, but it's a little hectic over there. So I'm just gonna go out here. So that is the right side of the street because then it curves around past the Starbucks and goes into uh, Soarin' and Smoke Jumpers over in uh, that area. So we're gonna switch now and we're gonna go to the other side of the street to make our way back up down the street. I guess when you're switching directions, up and down become really relative. So 
Um, but it's weird because that first door, it's like quiet, 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 louder, 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 louder. And so it was like two, one person in the first door and then like five, 30, 100. It's just like a weird, it, it made me feel weird. So I don't know. Okay, so we're going in Elias and Company, which used to have some fun like men's clothes too, but it feels like mostly it's like a dress shop now. So you get a lot of like cooler items though. So it's not like the standard issue, like t-shirt or anything like that. Like, look at these, look at that dress. That's a nice dress. So let's take a look. Let's see how much that dress is. Cause it was actually pretty cute. Even though I don't need a dress, I've got enough. I don't want to touch anything, but I'm gonna. $128. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, look at this. This is a fun bag. Shaped like his, a record. That's $45. Let's look at all the Cruella stuff over here so you can get her like jacket replica. Out of pleather. That's $110 and then this dominatrix hat which is $35. So the next room we got, I believe this is probably mostly men's clothes, but I think there's unisex stuff in here, but I like that they're bringing out some of these kind of retro designs here. Cause I believe there's like a popcorn bucket that you can get too with the waffle fries in it. This t-shirt's a little, little rough for my taste, but $24.99. We can't beat a $24.99 t-shirt, right? Out of Disneyland, Disney, but look at this thing. Look at this. That's fun. I bet Pete did not see this. $24.99. Okay, so it's not just men's, clearly. This is a sleep shirt. Um, this is super cute. I love that he's getting a little, Pluto never gets the love he deserves. $26.99. This throwback style with the new Mickey and Company collection. Oh, with at least 45% of recycled fibers. That's cool. It's really soft too. For $24.99. I do not think this would look good on me, but I, I do like this shirt a lot. Monorail button downs. I do like that they're doing the button downs. And these, this is 60. You've got the hats one we've seen. Fun shirt. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Little. 36 .99. get out of here. I was about to be like, it's so plain. It needs like characters or something, but I like this Dalmatian one. Button down. Got your little baby Yoda stuff. Child hat. Interesting hat, that's cute. Then we got our spirit jerseys. I almost was just like, oh, spirit jerseys. What? Why is this? Oh, it's her universe, that's why. I was like, why is it? Why are all the Ewok stuff always for women? $34.99. And then I know people are losing their mind over the Naboo spirit jersey. I like the colors on the Tatooine one better, honestly. But people love a Queen Amidala. I like, honestly, I don't know why I like the Disneyland Spirit jerseys better. I think it's just like the Disneyland font I like better. I really like this black one. I know it's so lame and plain, but it's just like, it's nice. And it feels actually a, like a little softer than the other ones. I'm sure I'm just making that up because it's in California, but they're still $70. We got the Buzz Lightyear one, the Monsters University, and then this sparkly Disneyland one. Mm -mm -mm. Sparkle, shine. That's funny. $36.99. Oh no, oh no. They got the jean one here too, $80. Get it, rid of it, burn it. This one is honestly my favorite of all the button downs. I just love the colors. I love the pop of the blue with Sebastian. Plus, there's never any Sebastian stuff. I love Sebastian. 
So one of my favorite things is that Disneyland has these like collaborations they do with Neff. Um, and these shirts are always like really cool designs. This is, they're really soft and stuff. Like I do kind of like this Mickey shirt. Um, not the string hanging off it though, excuse me. Um, $28 for that. Um, there's a long sleeve shirt too. And that one's really soft. That one is $34, but I like it cause it's got this like Mickey on the back. Like what you doing pal? And down the sleeve, it's got like the Mickey. Um, you know, and they got like the sweatshirts, there's like a mini t-shirt and everything. And then they've got like a hat over here. So very, I feel like we're bridging, we've gone from reinvigorating 80s fashion to 90s now. All right, we are in the women's department now. Let's take a little look around. Oh, this little no place I'd rather be. $36.99. You're using less fabric, but you're paying the same price. That seems unfair. Let's go back here because I see some of their pride merchandise. And I want to look at that. Hello, guys. So you got your little mini and Mickey's down here. Polo shirt. I think the polo is like 60 bucks. Yeah, $60. They have that one at Disney World, too. $24.99 for the little... Ringer T. What about this one? The black one? $36.99. Disneyland one is $36.99. And then they have these the fanny packs. I like that the zipper is rainbow. These are $30. $30. It's like pleathery. Not bad. I like that. I saw a lot of people wearing this hat. This design, which I like. I like that the strap is, is like that too. $27.99 for that. And then this itty bitty teeny tiny little clutch that looks like a little backpack. That is forty dollars. Forty dollars. Look at this like sparkly mini hat. Twenty seven ninety nine. I mean, it's fun. It's different. Mitch Matt. Mitch Matt. Mitch Mash. Mitch Mitch matching sandals. Fourteen ninety nine. Some days you feel like a Mickey. Some days you feel like a Minnie. We've all been there. I actually kind of like this, this sweatshirt. It's soft. Look at the colors. I like that it goes down the sleeve. I think that's the back, too, honestly. And no, it's got the castle on the sleeve. That is kind of cool. It's nice. That is $54.99. I think this, I like the colors on this. It's nice and soft too. Oh my goodness, this is a really soft shirt. $54.99, that is nice. It's a nice sweatshirt. So now we're in the youths department. And they've got their own spirit jerseys. How much is a youth spirit jersey? I bet these are just the same thing. Yeah, I feel like these are the same thing, just over here as well. This is fun. Look, bolt, oh, bolt. Oh, the sweatshirt's really soft. Sometimes I'm like, this isn't youth either. That's $54.99. My goodness, that's a soft shirt. That is a nice shirt. I like that. And of course, like every store at Disneyland right now, they got all the Spider-Man stuff. The Avengers campus stuff. So the spider bots, the backpacks, all of that stuff. That is in here. The web shooters, everything. Everything. I haven't watched this movie yet, but I do love this cat. $20. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I've seen these before. These look like a choking hazard, but there are so many of them. Look at the little Star Wars games. Little Toy Story ones. They got a ton of Toy Story ones. And there's like just like art characters for different holidays, for different lands. I see you, Jessica Rabbit. I see you. I see you, the Muppets. Oh, and there's Bun. From, from Muppets. Those are, oh my God, please tell me those aren't $10 for one of them. Okay, they come with a bunch in here. I think there's three, one, two, three. Yeah, three, it looks like. So you buy the sets. Yeah, see, cause there's like the Star Wars one. And then we are in the last shop or the first shop if you're coming in. This is where you can get your hats embroidered and everything like that. Oh, look at these. $20 for this, Disneyland Resort. This is a cute mug. How do you open it? I think it's probably just twist off. It's 
interesting. And you have this one too. That's forty dollars. A little toothpick holder. Mm-hmm. Sure. Ten dollars. It's fun. Oh, what's this one? I like this one. I like bottles like this. I think this is double walled, so this might be one of those ones where it doesn't sweat, which would be nice. This is twenty bucks. They have a Disneyland version of that sweatshirt I've seen in another video. You've seen another video of Dome because they've got the castle, Matterhorn. I think that's Carthay, Radier Springs. That's cool. I like it because they're all embroidered too. So that's fifty four ninety nine. I'm here in July, so they still have a lot of their 4th of July, like, Mickey stuff. But it kind of fits because it's, like, that Disneyland blue, it looks like. But it's this shirt. This shirt. Ooh, it's soft. Disneyland. How much are you? You are $40. You will stay right here. Look at these sweatshirts. I feel like I haven't seen these before. It's, like, Mickey, Minnie... The Disneyland Castle and Stitch. These are cool. I like how this one's lenticular. Is that the word? Maybe iridescent was what I was supposed to say. $54.99. $54.99. And a Stitch. Nice. Look at this cute little keychain. Oh, that's fun. That is $14.99. That price is not fun. So that store was the five and dime. I don't know what, the, I know each one has its own little name, but I don't remember them all. I do just want to point out something here. That they have the new pride flag in there, which is really nice. So it's not just like on the merchandise. They legitimately hung a pride flag in here. So I am going to give them props for that. Because sometimes I feel like they just call it their pride collection. But they don't say what that actually means. So that's cool. Look at this little puppy with his collar. So that was it. That was uh, shopping on uh, Buena Vista Street in Disney California Adventure. Uh, I, a couple of cute things in there, I feel like. Honestly, a lot of the stuff like I liked is like long-sleeved or sweatshirts or something. And it's kind of a bummer because I live in a place where like, realistically, I'm never, I'm never going to be able to wear any of that. Like, it, it's like sweatshirt where they're so slim, so little amount of times, it's like just a waste kind of like, I know it's great for California because when that sun sets, it's nice and cool here at night all the time. So you get to dress a little more, uh, a little better, you know, you're not always sweating constantly through all your clothes, but, uh, yeah, some good stuff. I don't know. I did. I left, I didn't get anything. So, um, I'm sure I'll panic by before I leave for the, at the end of this trip, but um, I will try and do more shopping videos while I'm here. So this will not be the only one. I don't know the order they come out in. So this could be the last one. And I've said that I shouldn't have said it, but um, if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and leave me some comments. Tell me you saw something that you thought was cute. I'd like to know. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it. I just love a good window shopping. So I, I enjoyed it. It takes you out of the heat and cools you off a little bit. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna do some more videos and everything like that. So thank you for spending some time with me and I hope that you are all doing well and I will see you later. Bye.